Hi guys, greetings from Malaysia. Today I want to go through um, how not to write a web application, a little bit about the 12 factor app and maybe some difficulties I'm having transferring my bad application to um, to better practices like the like Amazon Lambda. So let's begin by by saying like you know my old videos I highly suggest you look for the cards because I might be linking to an updated video. When you upload a video to YouTube, you can't update it. So, and I don't want to necessarily delete the wrong videos um, because you know they. I've made mistakes. You should should be able to see my mistakes, and you can see how I moved on. So, with this vi this old video I posted in 2015, I was demonstrating how I developed my apps, um, and the big problem is. As, as the 12 factor app sort of kind of sort of makes clear well actually it doesn't is that um, that I should have separated my data right now I mixed my data and my logic and I think in the 12 factor app scheme of things I say you should have thought of your data as being a separate resource and yeah let me just demonstrate wh where it's really quite painful actually so I just set up a uh, an Ubuntu droplet. Let me just uh, get PHP running here. So, wh where I've gone sort of horribly wrong is is that I use the file system as a way of doing my roots, I guess. So, like, uh, what is this machine called? Yeah. So if I wanted to do an, a new route like foo, and I wanted to have a, a page there, I would do something like this, right? God, I hate the Mac keyboard. Oops, I really hate the Mac keyboard. You can see there's a foo there, um, and then index.php is showing up. But what's worse is that, is that like for example in web converger context, there, there were like configurations like config, home page, example.com, um, and then I would ha I would use symlinks to so that. So that new machine, uh, you know, machines attached to one config. So machine one two three four five, or five four three two one, they would they would share this conf. They would basically um, point to the master config. Now, how would you implement this in in an AWS way? Um, this is not very easy. Uh, I did get a suggestion over Twitter that I could perhaps use uh, set these as S three um, website redirects to the main config file. But I don't really like that because doing an HTTP redirect is kind of expensive in my opinion uh, for the client. But it's a possible way of doing it. Um, maybe another way is, um, is, is is setting up maybe something like DynamoDB so that you so that these values refer to these these values refer to some other key that you'd look up for the for the config I mean how would you do this this is what my, my application looks like right now I have index.php uh, directories and sim links pointing to config files and I'm kind of like I don't know what how, how to how to re how to re-implement this I think in the time being I'm just gonna have to I just wanted to point out you can't dockerize this because everything's intermingled and it's difficult to put it into the Lambda context too. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because this is where I'm at right now. I'm really confused. So yeah, don't do it like I've done it. Learn from the wisdom of the 12 factor app. And if you have any suggestions how to pull my legacy app that looks like this into um, a sane way of doing it, please let me know. I think I'm just gonna have to re-implement the damn thing from, com from complete scratch. But this key value stuff is something I like to do, but how do you do that? 
nicely on AWS. Hmm. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a like.